would know better. How about Lehman Catholic and Fort Laramie? Big battle in the Northwest Central Conference. Started out a little slow. They had to kick off twice because the officials weren't sure about a fumble. So they said, hey, let's just re-kick it. How about Daniel Burning? He's getting the big hit in the big loss. Fort Laramie's Cole Egbert in pursuit here. That Laramie defense has been so strong all season long. Then it's Elliot Gillardi of Lehman Catholic trying to get some ground on that third and long, but Burning's there for the nice hit, and then he helps him up, forces the punt. Jake Ward from midfield getting the ball moving for Fort Laramie, a four-yard gainer. Then it's Burning keeping it, but seven yellow jerseys have to take him down. Might have been eight in there. They're all in there, aren't they? Tough runner, their leader. Third down now, Austin Spiegel to Mike Hoyne. A little bit of a pickup, but they would have to punt because of the layman Catholic defense. And Frank, or Fort Lormie's Frank Meyer showing off the defensive skills as well. Third down, Gilardi running for his life, dives for the pylon. At first they said first down. They actually moved the sticks. And then they said, wait a second, we should measure. So they moved the sticks back. I don't know how they knew where the spot was. It was ruled not a first down. You see the Fort Laramie defense taking over, and they pitched the shutout tonight. How about Whip Park's team? I think they've won four in a row now. 20 to nothing, Fort Laramie victorious. So look at the NWC 